Harry Stoner lives in high style in a Beverly Hills mansion with a Spanish-speaking maid. Traumatized by combat in World War II and overwhelmed by his business and life pressures, he is obsessed with his baseball-loving youth. Awakening in a scream for the second time that week and acting out pre-war Brooklyn Dodgers baseball games in the bedroom including a wild pitching wind-up he nostalgically recalls his wife, Janet urges him to call a DR. Frankfurter for a hypnosis session. He's explained to her that every morning he wakes up costs him $200 what with the mortgage, daughter's Swiss school, pool cleaner, tree surgeon, etc. and that they have to somehow finance a new line of female fashion at work, after doing ballet with the books the previous year to stay afloat, triggering a possible audit. Driving to the office in his new Lincoln Continental, he picks up a young free-spirited hitchhiker on Sunset Strip, Myra Last of the Flower Power Hippies. She asks him if he wants to ball, he thanks her for asking but declines because he's late to work. Stoner co-owns a financially struggling Los Angeles apparel company, Capri Casuals. He and his partner, Phil Green, have kept it from collapsing by fraudulent accounting and are possibly facing an audit. Today is the day of their big fashion show for their out-of-town buyers and Stoner and Green argue intensely about what to do to pay for the new fashion line. The bank will only give them 50% on sales and they will need another like amount within 60 days. Dismissing all legal ways to come up with the money, while asking Green if he really wants to be out on the street looking for a job at his age, Stoner poses the possibility of torching their Long Beach factory for the insurance payout. An important client arrives by trains from Ohio, expecting service by a local prostitute, Margot, which Stoner has arranged for him in the past. The client suffers an arterial occlusion while cavorting with her and a French-speaking assistant, and is taken by ambulance for emergency treatment with heart specialists. Still shaky from dealing with his client's medical emergency, Stoner takes the stage at the premiere of his company's new line, only to be overcome by war memories as he imagines seeing injured soldiers in the audience. Explaining that the Capri in his company name is the island in Italy where he was treated for his war injuries in a barely coherent ramble, he's saved by the event's MC. The line is a success with buyers but all express concern about Stoner. Sid Fivish, a financier with the mob, offers emergency financing backstage at 200%. Stoner and Green furtively meet the arsonist Charlie Robbins in the balcony of a blue movie theater, passing him an envelope containing a $2,500 cash retainer and keys and address for the factory he is to burn down. He will check out the property that evening and they'll meet again at the theater the next morning. On the way out of the theater Stoner is asked to sign a petition to save the world's tigers. Stoner ends the day picking up Myra again, who is still hitchhiking, and spending the night with her where she's house-sitting. Again he refuses sex and his behavior, including an incoherent rant, causes Myra concern. At their meeting the next day Robbins informs them their warehouse is too far out of compliance on fire safety regulations, the insurance company would never pay out on a fire. The only way would be for him to start the fire in another business on the ground floor, owned by someone Stoner and Green know, and funnel the flames into their second-floor space above. Stoner agrees to this without Green, whom he asks Robbins to forget completely if things go wrong. Stoner comes upon boys playing baseball in a field. The ball is hit to his left field fence. He enters the field to return it and wins up dramatically to pitch, sending the ball far over the backstop. The kids ask him why he did that. So you could see it one time, Stoner replies, remaining on the field with a smile on his face. A kid looks at him and shouts, you can't play with us, mister. 